my pleasure to address you today at the Jamaican Consultation Workshop, the Development Minerals Program of the African, Caribbean, Pacific Groups of States, the European Union, and the United Nations Development Program. Let me take this opportunity to thank the Mines and Geology Division of the Jamaican Ministry of Transport and Mining for hosting this workshop. We meet here today to discuss the possibilities of Jamaica to further develop its low-value minerals and materials sector. The term low-value can be somewhat misleading. While it refers to the low price of the materials as a function of their weight and their relatively low value to international commodity markets, the sector of low-value minerals and materials may be of high value in terms of its development and income-generating potential in Jamaica. The low-value minerals and materials sector is dominated by small and medium-scale domestic business serving local markets. Industrial minerals, construction materials, and semi-precious stones are used in Jamaica's infrastructure, manufacturing, construction, and agriculture industries. Developing the sector of low-value minerals and materials would hence lead to more local jobs and would increase the income of the most vulnerable groups of the population. Despite the great development potential of low-value minerals and materials, the sector is still given insufficient attention in society and is, as a result, underutilized. Precisely due to the lack of attention it has enjoyed in the past, the sector is still struggling with a number of environmental, social and economic challenges. It is therefore important to build capacity by training and offering support to the main stakeholders in the sector. The Development Minerals Program, which we're discussing today, will allow us to assist the sector with these challenges. The program will provide capacity building support to the small-scale private sector, associations and business development centers, public institutions and communities that operate in the low-value minerals and materials sector. The program will promote knowledge exchange to increase the sector's productivity and to improve the management of mining operations. It will also assist the sector to better adhere to national and international environmental health and safety standards and to improve community relations. Let me conclude by stressing that the European Union has a strong commitment here in Jamaica. Cooperation between the EU and Jamaica is aligned to Jamaica's National Development Plan, Vision 2030. We fully support Jamaica's initiatives to achieve its fullest potential through the efficient and sustainable use of its natural resources. We also welcome the holistic, integrated approach taken in this program, planning for the long term, involving all stakeholders, using the best available knowledge, and this way contributing to poverty reduction.